Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So um, I've been working on the second uh, Ellie the Steam Tram. I'm, I've made a batch of four altogether. So I've been working on this one, uh, trying to get it ready. I've run it a few times. I'll, I'll put some footage in of it running and it's it's really freed up really well. It just needs the lightest of touch to um, to move the loco. I'm sure, I'm sure you can see here we've we've got some steam oil and what I can see is there's quite a bit of um, uh, powdered brass in there so I think that's where it's been wearing in. Um, so that's pretty good so I'm pleased you know, obviously we, we want everything to wear in nicely so it, it's it's smooth running which it, I'm pretty sure it is now. So we've got um, a couple more jobs to do and um, a modification I made on the previous Ellie was to put um, an end cap here on the end of the cylinder so I'm going to make it do, do that again for this one and what that just does is it gives a bit of support to, to the piston rod um, because otherwise it I'm not sure if you can see that but the um, you can get a bit of rock there and then that that will lead to premature wear of the cylinder so just by adding a bit of support there um, prevents damage to the cylinder but it also reduces the amount of friction considerably and you get a much better running engine so I'd like to make that mod to this this one before I finish it um, the other thing is, is I, I went to a show um, recently and bought, bought some buffers from SL Engineering so I'd like to fit those as well um, I was looking for some nice um, cast buffers they just look a bit nicer than the plastic ones and uh, so we've got got those um, just need to drill I've already drilled holes in the buffer beams but they're, they're not quite big enough so we need to drill those out so I'll try and get those fitted today as well okay so the first part of the mod is some um, we just need to remove this um, thicker section because um, basically the hole in the, the end cover will be this diameter so obviously we can't push it over that so it will make this very slightly weaker but um, it's stainless steel it's pretty tough stuff actually so it should be fine we just have to take quite small cuts because we've got quite a bit of stick out here um, the head of the pistons 3 8 so I've got it in a 3 8 collar. So the second thing we're going to do is reduce the size of the piston head at the bottom. Um, so what I want actually is, this is 5mm diameter, I want 30mm of that, so that gives us a bit of um, leeway inside the cylinder so we, we can push the cap in a little way. It's probably only going to be one and a half mil, but just to give us plenty of clearance. So I've started to clean this one up, but we need, I've just had to reposition it in the chuck. Um, because we're not relying so much on the length of the piston anymore to support it. So uh, yeah, let's carry on with that. So the last thing I'm going to do is just chamfer the, the, the corners of these O-ring slots a bit. They're a little bit sharp. So just so we don't damage the O-rings. Just have to take the very tiniest of chamfers. Okay, so the last part for this modification is to make a new end cap for the bottom of the cylinder. And this will have a hole in it to support the piston rod. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with it.
Okay, so I've um I've put a new O ring in. It's a BS zero one zero. It's just a slightly better fit. I'm getting really nice spring back there. So um, what we need to do now is just lock tight this top this uh, top on. So I'm going to use the old favourite six three eight. So now we uh, need to apply some of our favourite libation on the edge and then in the middle. Be a little bit careful. There we go. So try and keep it uh, away from the centre part. Okay, so I'm going to let that go off, and, uh, and then we'll refit it back to the loco. So I've um, fitted the end caps now, and um, I remember this from the previous Ellie. Um, this part of the crank is just just catching the end cap, so I just need to thin the end cap down a little bit on this side, just to uh, give us a, a little bit of clearance there. But uh, it's just a few a few strokes of the file, so I'll have a go at that, and we'll come back to you. Okay, so I've just filed the very smallest of flats on. Uh, on that, as you can see, it, the crank goes all the way around. So um, while I've got it in this position, actually, what you can see is you see these semicircular scratches here. So that's where the cylinder is bedding into the up to the standard. We've got similar uh, stuff here. So that's you know you, you do need to run these things in a little bit, but uh, yeah. Quite pleased with that. Hopefully that model um, holds solid. It'll be good for the next uh, next few uh, years, hopefully. Um, so it's got brand new O-ring in, so that'll, that'll be a bit stiff initially. So uh, we will give it another run, hopefully, and see how it goes. So that sounds pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Okay, so it's uh, time to fit the buffers. I'm just going to use my hand drill for that because it's. I think the existing holes three mil and we need three and a half, so it's only going up a little way. I have put um, a bit of steel behind the hole, hole so we don't do any damage with the drill. There we go. Yeah, that should be the right size then. Perfect. So we'll just do the other side. I'm putting some metal behind because I don't want to damage the uh, the gears if, if the drill goes in too far. There we go. Lovely jubbly. So we've got um, some deeper both of these, and then I can try and fit. I'm really pleased how they look. They look really nice and chunky. Just uh, very, very in keeping with a big chunky tram. So, yeah, excellent. So I think that they'll be quite helpful to just push, it, put, apply a bit of weight um, on the track when you just want to get it to go initially. So um, yeah, excellent. So I hope you found that uh, interesting or entertaining. Uh, do leave a comment. I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.